Hey, what's up? It's Hair Jordan. Today's video is a little bit different. I know lately I've just been doing really dumb, funny videos. And today isn't one of those, I'm sorry, but tomorrow I'll be back with the stupid stuff. But I kind of really wanted to talk about this, about how last year my life kind of got out of control a little bit. Some of you know a little bit more, and some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. But first, let's, I guess I'll just do this now. Yesterday we gained about 30 subscribers, which is incredible. And the comment of the day was from Hannah G, who says, you're my favorite last brain. So, uh, I love that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not gonna upload very many serious videos right now to this channel. But I have learned a lot, especially in the last year, and I wanna share a little bit. And if you like this video or the videos like this, I have a second channel called Creative Alternative where I uploaded to earlier today. And I'm also gonna start uploading there daily for the time being. There's a link you can click or click here if you wanna watch the video and, and whatever, subscribe there for daily uploads on that channel as well. But they're not gonna be stupid videos like this channel. They're gonna be more like this video where I'm like talking about life and things I've learned and stuff like that. So if you're interested, you can follow that. And I have an Instagram there where I upload as well, but you don't have to. If you just want stupid videos, then, then you're at the right place, except for today. So yeah, about a year ago was when I moved to LA, things started changing. Obviously it was a big change because before I lived in Indiana, it was just like farmland and there was nothing. But then in LA, it was like, whoa, so different. There's people here, people who create. And where I lived in Indiana, I didn't know a single person except my brother. He moved to that town to go to college and I moved there and I didn't know anybody and I didn't make any friends or meet anyone when I left either. And that was kind of intentional because then I could stay in and just make videos all the time, which I did. And it was very productive time for me. But in LA, I knew a lot of people and things changed fast. And it was crazy because I started meeting and hanging out with people who like, it's like, well, I've heard you on the radio before. And now we're just hanging out and not like hanging out at a concert, did that too, but like hanging out at people's houses. It's like, these guys are on the radio. Like I've actually heard them before. They do huge things. And now we're just like kicking it. It was so weird, but I liked it. I liked the energy. I loved it, but I, I got distracted and I was in a relationship that ended very badly. And that kind of fucked me up in the head a lot. It, Took me a little bit to get over that, but I did get over it. And that's kind of when things uh, started changing for the worse, actually. I mean, that the adpocalypse happened and the YouTube algorithm changed, and that definitely hurt my channel, but I was okay. I was doing live streams and music and stuff, so it was fine, but I was in a relationship that was falling apart right before I went on tour, actually, is when it started, and uh, everything just went downhill from there. And by the time the tour was over, I was just like a wreck. I was a, I was a wreck mentally, emotionally. I had a meltdown on tour, like more than once. I just couldn't deal with life. It was all too much. Oh man. And then the aftermath of tour, you know, when I got back to LA, I had to deal with life. I just couldn't. I had a very hard time doing it. A very hard time. But things are better now. Writing those songs helped me. And that's actually when I started writing the album Darkness. And that's what it started being about. The whole album's not about that, but that's what it started being about. And that really helped pull me out of that dark place. But now I'm trying to be more careful and I don't want to overcommit or stretch myself too thin. That's why I haven't booked the acoustic tour yet that I was talking about. You know, a lot of people had signed up saying they want to see me play on the tour forum. And I started booking it. I had a couple house shows booked, but then I had to cancel them because stuff was happening with my family. But also it was just too much. I realized like, I can't handle that right now. It's a lot of work and it's very complicated. And it's, and it's especially because sometimes things change. People are like, oh, you know what? I actually can't host. I'm gonna have to cancel or whatever. And, and it was like, I hadn't even left for two yet and I could see right away how complicated it was going to be and I knew it was going to be way more than I could handle. Uh, I thought a house show tour would be simpler than playing at venues but I don't think it is now now that I've booked a couple <laughs> and I already had some I did play one on my album release night and that one was awesome that went smoothly. Yeah so I don't know what I'm going to do as far as a tour goes but I just know right now this second with everything that's going on in my life I can't do it right this second but I, I do plan on doing a tour very soon hopefully but uh, I need to do what I know I need to do. Does that make sense? Probably not, but staying staying put and just making content every day, one day at a time, that's what I need to be doing right now. That helps me feel like I'm in control enough to where I'm not losing my shit. Because <laughs> that happens when you're doing too much. And on tour also, like you don't sleep three, four hours, maybe five hours of sleep in a night. That's totally normal. If you get more than four or five hours in a night, you had a good night. Because you're playing the shows and you're driving and you have to get there early to set up and you're the last one to leave because you're tearing down. And, and for me, I make videos on tour, so I have even less time to sleep. It's just, it's not healthy and it's crazy. And honestly, I couldn't even afford to have help right now because I kind of took a couple months off of YouTube. So I, it just, I would end up having to do every little thing myself and it, I would, it would drive me crazy doing that right now, I know. So, so I'm being smart. 
I'm trying to be smart and just be in control of my life and not not ruin everything again like I did last year. Oof. The album's not all about that breakup, but that's just what started it. Once I started, it just kept coming and I was just writing about life, about the dark side of life. And that's really what helped me cope and deal with all the things was actually just talking about it in those songs and being like, okay, this is just life. It's the way it is, being honest, you know? So that album really helped me bring it back in a sense. And I did drink a lot of alcohol in the last year, which I never really drank much before, except for maybe for a drunk video every once in a while, but that was not regular. But I started drinking a lot every day. Uh, and it wasn't good, it wasn't good. But I have started to make some changes. <sighs> to be honest, I don't, I don't really know how to say it. It's not like it was just one day where it was like, okay, life, life's different. Like it, it didn't work that way. It was just kind of small, small changes over time. One of those changes was when Vanessa told me, hey, your drinking is a problem. Uh, you're drinking a lot. And so I was like, okay, well, it's not a problem anymore. And she was like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm not, I'm gonna make sure it's not a problem anymore. So I went like a whole week without drinking, which is, doesn't sound like a big deal. And it's not for most people, but when you're drinking as much as I was every day to just be like, okay, I'm not gonna drink then. And to not have a drink for a whole week, that's a big deal. But I did it. I just decided, I was like, I'm not gonna let this be a problem. So there, and that's it. And it was done. And I haven't drank as much since. I still drink, but not like that. You know, I still enjoy a drink. And especially before I film videos, I like to do a shot sometimes or whatever. But I'm not drinking like I was back then. And that's changed. That that didn't really inhibit me much, though. I could drink and still function. Actually, it helped me be more comfortable because I was around people a lot in L.A. And I really have social anxiety. So that helped me a lot. So it's not like it was making me not function. But I wasn't focusing on my work. That's the thing is I wasn't focusing on making videos. Um... I don't know what I was focused on, to be honest. I guess I just lost my focus. But I decided I wanted to take control of my life again. And so what I started to do was uh, I got back into meditating in the mornings and listening to positive things, just putting headphones in and listening to like positive videos on YouTube. It's something I used to do every day and I kind of stopped, I kind of stopped meditating and reflecting. But it really helps me. I, I've noticed that it helps me to get up in the morning and either write something, like type out something, just reflecting on the way I feel or life or to create something. And that's really when I feel most fulfilled in life is when I can create something every day. And it doesn't even matter so much what I'm creating, but just the fact that I'm making something and putting it out into the world, like releasing it, just helps me so much. When I used to make videos every day back like a while ago, that was so fulfilling for me. Even when I didn't make money from YouTube and I had a normal job making a video every day, I just felt fulfilled. Like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm putting out creativity into the world. That's what for me makes me feel fulfilled. And so what I started doing is I started making videos again every day, not on this channel. It was before I started the, day, the 30 day challenge on this channel, which who knows what's gonna happen, but. But on my other channel, Creative Alternative, I started making a video every day just talking about life and reflecting, you know, and like after I would meditate. And I haven't uploaded them yet, but I did upload the first one today and I'm going to continue to upload daily there for a while doing that. Doing that and, and writing music every day, trying to like write an instrumental and finish it, like finishing a creative endeavor every day just helps me so much. And then releasing it to the world it doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be big or epic, but just something. So when I started doing that every day, it, it really does a lot for me and my mental health, you know, in my mind. And that's something I just need to do. And, and you know, in 20 days or whatever, this channel may be gone. Maybe, you know, that's possible. It's very possible. I think we have 20 days left. I'm not sure what, what I'm going to do, but I know I'll be creating something either on my other channel or I'll be writing music. Maybe I'll turn my focus on that and just do that full time. I, I really have no idea, but I, I just know that for me, I need to create something every day. And that helps me feel in control of my life because so much of our life you're not in control of. But for me, I need to be in control of that. I need to be able to create something. Even if I can't sleep, even if I'm so busy where I don't have time for anything, I will give up sleep in order to create, which I've had to do several times this last week because it's been a crazy, crazy week for me, which I don't know if I should even talk about because it's very, very personal with some very close relatives, things happened. Um, and I ended up spending a lot of time in, in the hospital this week and then a funeral. It's just been a bad week. And there were like three different nights the last week where I had to pull all-nighter uh, to make the daily video on this channel or maybe only sleep an hour or two. Three or maybe it was four nights that happened because it would it'd be like I would just make the video. I try to make it good, spend five, six, seven hours on the video, you know, editing, filming, coming with the idea. And then as soon as it's done, I like had to run out the door and I even had to upload at a relative's house at one point. Uh, actually, no, like three different days in the last week I've had to do that because I'm just running around doing stuff with family because some bad stuff happened and even today another relative is <sighs> on their deathbed everyone's like taking turns watching them at night and I haven't taken a turn yet and they're going up today but it's like a two-hour drive to get there and I'm, I'm like ah, I need to make this video 
Uh, so when life's out of control, like it gets really out of control. But for me, creating something every day makes me feel like I can deal with it. And uh, I don't even know what this video is about anymore. What am I saying? I'm taking control of my life. That's what I'm saying. And these daily videos have definitely helped. Felt like they were going to kill me a, a couple times this week when I had to sacrifice sleep in order to do it. But it's helped me a lot. And hopefully you guys like them. And I want to continue making them. But I also want to continue making more serious videos on my other channel because I like that I can make people laugh and make your guys' day better and I want to do that and that's meaningful to me but I also want to share other meaningful things that I've learned and you know just reflecting and talking about slightly more serious topics and that's that's what my other channel will be for here uh creative alternative so um yeah I wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of you had, have commented on having a breakdown this year or a couple of them and just uh, how things have changed and I've changed a lot and I, and I kind of stopped YouTube for a while. There was two whole months where I didn't even upload and it was just because I just couldn't deal with life. I couldn't handle it, but I don't, I don't want to let that happen again. I've, I've kind of gained control of my life again. I'm, I'm getting it back and it's one day at a time, you know, and that's what I want to continue to do. I don't want to let circumstances dictate what I do. I make videos, I create content, and I make music, and, and I'm going to continue to do that no matter how bad life gets. And it, it helps me cope, you know. So maybe if you're having a hard time coping with life, you should try that. Try creating something or, or doing something that could help someone else or sharing positive things into the world that it can just do so much, you know. And it's also been hard because after I posted my music video a couple weeks ago, it's like people have been messaging me and emailing me a lot, sometimes daily, about how they're going to kill themselves and they need help and they just need a friend to talk talk to and it's like I, I can't be that I don't know what to do like I put in the video like the suicide prevention phone number and website and live chat I can like chat live with someone from them but not me I, I don't even have time to sleep some days and I am like mentally and emotionally maxed out like I've seen two relatives on their deathbed this week and one of them passed away funerals yesterday and the other one is still alive but like I'm emotionally drained, you know, so I don't even know how to reply to those emails and those messages that I get. And it's happening a lot. So if you're someone who, you know, has reached out and I haven't been able to reply to you, I'm so sorry. But just know that I believe that you really do have a purpose. I think every person has a reason they're here and it's for you to figure it out. And sometimes you do need to talk to someone. That's why I have the suicide prevention hotline and their website on in the bio of my music video that's about suicide and also in this video I'll put it or if you just need to talk to someone talk to them they really do care and I do care a lot too unfortunately I it's just I just can't right now but you're not the only one who goes through struggles and it's okay I don't know what you need to do to get past that and maybe maybe you're like me maybe you need to create something and that'll help you deal with your pain or maybe you just need to talk to someone or you know I don't know but there's ways there's outlets that, that are available and I really encourage you to go find a way to deal with that and life can be so much better when, once you start to deal with those things and figure out how how to be happy in life how to smile and have a, a good day instead of a bad day you know it's it's so worth going through it I don't know I guess that's all I that I can say I'm really bad and I have I don't know how to deal with these issues for other people and I, I apologize for that. I just know how to deal with it myself and that's, that's just been looking forward, not looking back. You know, what can I do to make an improvement today? One day at a time, literally one adjustment at a time in my life and that has made all the difference in the world for me. And I really hope that some of you will be able to do that for yourself too. Ah. <sighs> There's, there's always more to do, and I never have time to get as much done in the day as I, as I want. But I've realized that for me, creating something, as stupid as it may be, makes me okay with life, no matter what's going down. So I don't know why I wanted to share that. Sorry if you were looking forward to a Kurt video or a funny video, but we'll have more of that tomorrow. And thank you guys so much for sticking with me and, and still watching the channel and all the support. You guys are giving me so much support through it all, and it's just like blows my mind. It's crazy. And I'm so thankful to you guys. <sighs> It's incredible, you know? And YouTube really has changed my life in so many ways. So hopefully now that I have things back kind of under control, I can keep making the videos to make your guys' life better too because you guys have made my life a lot better. And I just can't say thank you enough. But yeah, so I guess that's this video. I'm kind of dumb, honestly. I feel like I can't communicate to you enough the emotions that I'm feeling because they're so strong. But I don't know, I just had to say it. I had to address it. Yeah, I've had a couple meltdowns in the last year. Yeah, it was really rough and I quit YouTube for a little bit, but I'm back. I'm stronger now and, and I'm really excited for the way things are going. No matter what happens with this channel, if we can't beat the algorithm, so be it. But we're building a strong community and that's everything to me. I'm so excited for it and I'm so excited for what we do next. So thank you guys. Thank you for everything. 
and I will see you tomorrow, whether I get sleep or not.